whether the schooling was worth it for writing, they never taught show, the show don't tell technique was never grasped by anyone in our class. We had no idea what we were doing. And I didn't fully grasp what show don't tell meant until I started my editing company and started getting certifications. And I learned more in my certification than I did in my classes, like full honesty. <laughs> it was actually really upsetting. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I paid like this much money for this certification. And then I paid this much money for a college degree and it was useless. <laughs> in a way. So I would say if you want, if you're okay with me delving into my little yeah, please. On show don't tell, please go. So show don't tell, I'm sure as was something that's like over shared, like it's something that's overemphasized with people where they're like, Oh, you should be showing and not telling. But, but nobody tells you what that means. No one <laughs> tells you what it means. <laughs> so as an editor, I have to walk clients through what exactly that technique involves and what you should be doing. There's a great emotion thesaurus book that's out there for it's like good book. 10 bucks on Amazon. Highly recommend it to every client I have. Cause I even keep it on my desk when I'm writing <laughs> or editing, if I'm like trying to make suggestions to my clients, but for an example of telling, and I have a whole written thing here, <laughs> this is telling. And it's once upon a time, there was a castle and a dragon and even a tasty looking hawk. Very choppy, very to the point, not the greatest opening, right? Or even if it's in the middle of a book. <laughs> but this is an example of showing. Smoke blew from the dragon's nostrils, talons digging into the stone as it scaled down the side of the castle. With the beast mouth agape, it extended its neck to engulf the tasty hawk. We're usually showing without even realizing it most of the time. 